Hi, I'm Ted Thrasher from the ICAO Environment Branch. I'm going to talk about one of the most exciting and promising opportunities for reducing aviation's greenhouse gas emissions while improving local air quality, the use of sustainable alternative fuels. Let's start by talking about drop-in alternative fuels. A drop-in alternative fuel is a substitute for conventional jet fuel that is completely interchangeable and compatible with conventional jet fuel. In other words, from the pipeline to the airplane, no one can tell the difference. Of course, there is a difference. The difference is that sustainable alternative fuels are produced from renewable sources. This may be plants that you may have never heard of before, or even algae. Although the airplane can't tell the difference between the two jet fuels, the environment can. Sustainable alternative fuels offer significant local air quality benefits. And when using biomass to produce jet fuel, the plant absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere while it is growing. This is something that a fossil fuel simply can't do. When you look at the entire life cycle, the net emissions can be much lower. Under optimal conditions, 80% lower, which is why environmentally, alternative fuels are attractive. A recent report that was commissioned to inform the British government showed that global demand for aviation jet fuel could be entirely met using biofuels in 30 to 40 years, with a substantial portion of the demand being met much earlier. Legislation and targets being set by states and regions are helping to ensure that these future predictions are realized. Let me give you an example of what this implies. If we were to look at a scenario 25 years from now, where half of the international jet fuel demand is met with a fuel that has 50% lower life cycle emissions than conventional jet fuel, that would mean a net reduction of nearly 300 million tons of CO2. So what does ICAO have to do with alternative fuels? Well, we don't produce fuel. You'll never see an aircraft being fueled from an ICAO truck. We don't write the specifications for fuels either. There are other international organizations responsible for that, namely ASTM International and the UK's Defense Standardization, or DSTAN. But as the United Nations Specialized Agency for International Civil Aviation, we bring states and stakeholders together. We are a facilitator. We provide the forum for outreach and information exchange about current initiatives worldwide in the form of workshops and our website. We support international collaboration to standardize definitions and bring the primary stakeholders together to discuss cross-cutting topics. We synthesize the results being presented around the world to facilitate a broader view. ICAO's role is to facilitate the development and deployment of sustainable alternative fuels for aviation globally. So what have we done lately? A lot. Three years ago, the use of alternative fuels globally was just an idea. Since then, we've seen consortia form that involve all segments of the fuel supply chain, from the growers to the consumers. We've held a workshop and a conference and have seen the awareness on the topic go from just a few states to the entire world. The ICAO conference that was hosted by Brazilian authorities took decisions ranging from standardized definitions to the endorsement of the industry qualification and certification process, all of which were important steps to further develop and deploy sustainable alternative fuels for aviation. The conference also created the Global Framework for Aviation Alternative Fuels, where we pulled together initiatives from around the world. There are now more than 40 initiatives currently underway in every region of the world, making the development and deployment of alternative fuels for aviation a truly global effort. We are receiving updates for the Global Framework almost daily, with news of new partnerships being formed, new technologies being investigated, and more flights being operated on fuels derived using new processes. Over the past two years, there have been more than 10 test flights which supported the first new jet fuel certification in 20 years. ASTM D7566, the standard specification for aviation turbine fuel containing synthesized hydrocarbons. This is a landmark specification that not, not only makes it permissible to produce jet fuel using the Fischer-Tropsch process today, but the specification is structured to accommodate other future types of alternative fuels produced using other processes as they are developed. These new processes for developing jet fuel can be added to ASTM D7566 in annexes after they are qualified. 
The rate at which new initiatives are being launched has increased rapidly over the past three years, and there are annexes to ASTM D7566 currently in the qualification phase. What was just on the drawing board and in the test phase three years ago is now ready to be used in commercial aviation. It is a proven technology, and the work to improve it further is advancing at an amazing pace. This underscores how the aviation industry is always ready and able to adopt emerging technologies. The challenge is no longer to show whether or not alternative fuels will work. They do. The challenge is to have enough of it available to make a real impact. Financial assistance and incentives are needed to accelerate the development and deployment. Regulatory frameworks are needed to ensure availability. Sustainable alternative fuels are a win-win solution for aviation on many fronts. Local air quality and climate benefits? Check. Stabilized and supply and fuel prices? Check can be grown in all regions of the world, not just historic oil producing areas, thereby creating new markets and employment? You bet. And they don't require any change to the existing infrastructure to deploy? That's pretty amazing. With sustainable alternative fuels, aviation's future is indeed very green. It is for these reasons that alternative fuels are a key measure that can be used to address aviation's contribution to climate change. For more information on sustainable alternative fuels for aviation, please visit our website at www.ico.int altfuels. I hope you found this presentation to be informative. Thank you.